How many times do you experience unexpected workload changes in your production environment? Fortunately, Kubernetes has your back on this one. With horizontal pod autoscaler, vertical pod autoscaler, and cluster autoscaler, you'll have the resources you need to grow or shrink your cluster automatically. The horizontal pod autoscaler, or HPA, scales the number of pod replicas. HPA continuously checks pre-configured metric values, then attempts to increase the number of pods if the specific threshold is met. The vertical pod autoscaler, or VPA, allocates more or less CPU to existing pods. VPA continuously checks pre-configured metrics values and attempts to change the allocated memory if the threshold is met. And the cluster autoscaler, or CA, scales your cluster nodes based on additional capacity needs. When some pods go into the pending state due to resource starvation, the CA interfaces with the cloud provider to request additional nodes. Pods are then scheduled to the new nodes and turn into running state. For total optimization of your Kubernetes cluster, use these three types of autoscalers simultaneously. Now, let's see how the three autoscalers work together. The VPA or HPA may grant containers more resources based on pre-configured criteria. When the CA detects pending pods due to lack of resources, it connects with your cloud provider to provision more nodes. Pods are automatically allocated to that additional capacity and your cluster is back to normal again. Work and regular maintenance are required for the three scalers to work in harmony. To learn more about each one of these, click on the link below this video.